Okay, I'm a photographer, I cover events. I go out and I run and gun, they call it. I shoot video clips, I shoot still photos, and this is the rig that I've settled on that I use to carry my camera gear. Here's my D700, and it's on a spider holster. You notice I can get to that pretty quickly and I can shoot. All weights on my waist. Here's my video camera. You notice I can get to that quickly and I can shoot. I carry an extra camera in here extra battery, so forth. I carry my remote mics. Um, so I've got everything I need right here to, to, to run an event, to cover an event. I have everything I need right here. Easy to get to. This is an expensive rig. This took time to put all this together. Now, it's heavy. There's a lot of weight around my waist here, but this is what you need to do to cover an event. So what do I do when I travel lighter? I've gone through a lot of bags and taken a look at a lot of different solutions and I'm going to go through some of those solutions and then I'm also going to talk about the Man Pack, a brand new product that's out that I think is fantastic for the price point and it might eclipse a lot of my other light carry options that I use. So I'm going to show you some of those options right now and then we're going to talk about the Man Pack. By the way, craigship.com is my website and it's twitter.com slash craigship. Uh, to follow me on Twitter. Okay, this was one of my first bags that I used to carry camera gear in. Had this 25, 30 years. Great bag, padded, great for carrying gear, but very awkward, very cumbersome. Yeah, I don't like carrying anything in this fashion. Um, it just, it, it puts too much stress on, on my back, putting all the weight in here, pulling on here. Um, I don't use this any longer to carry camera gear in this fashion. I only use this to transport camera gear to a location where I'm shooting with multiple cameras and I, maybe multiple mics and so forth. I need to carry some extra gear to a location. I'll use this bag, but I'll carry it like this. Okay, um, so it's a great unit to transport things to a location, but don't use it uh, as an over-the-shoulder camera bag. Um, your back will not thank you for that. This is called a newswear vest, and if I didn't have that first rig that's a combination of think tank and spider holster, if I didn't have that rig, this is probably the rig I would be using. You can get to everything, it has these large compartments that have flaps over the top, okay? Compartments all the way around. You can carry a significant amount of gear. With this, I still had to carry my, my D700 hanging down by the side, and so that's why I went to, with the think tank rig. It was easier to, to mount the D700 and get it out of the way and secure when I'm not using it. But this is a good solution for carrying a lot of gear and keeping the weight close to your body. And you have weight here and you have weight on your, on your waist. So it kind of distributes that weight all around. So this is a good solution for some uh, that are shooting events and so forth. But again, it's very professional looking. It's not something that you're going to want to use on vacation or that you're going to want to use at the school or whatever. Um, so it's a very purpose-built item. Okay, people talk about using backpacks. It's a backpack. I was going to put it on for this video, but this thing's heavy. It's uncomfortable. I don't want this thing on my back. Now, what I do use this for, again, is to store some lenses and extra gear. So if I'm going to a shoot where I really need to carry a lot of gear, I can use this to transport the gear to the site. I'm certainly not going to wear this thing on my back and put all that stress on my back. Um, not me. Um, but if you like backpacks, you can get all kinds of backpacks for carrying camera gear and other types of gear. Um, not for me. I don't want all that weight on, on my back. Um, just don't want to go there. But anyway, th these, are, these are an option for those who love backpacks and there's all different kinds of styles. Now, if I was going to wear a backpack type of thing, this would be what I would wear. This is very lightweight. You see it's close to the body. I can put a fair number of items in here. Um, sort of like the man pack, which we're going to look at last. If I tilt this like this, I can get to things that are inside. Um, pretty good design. I've carried extra lenses in this. Um, I can put this over my back when I have my whole rig on. I can carry this as well with extra lenses if I need to go heavy. Um, so this is an option for hiking, for at the school or, or whatever, um, a backpack like, like this. 
I'm going to go through a few others here. Got a whole bunch. Um, this is a small little Maxpedition pack. It's just an over the shoulder rig like this. And I can put my NEX7 camera in here, which is the one I'm shooting this video with, um, and not much else. So again, if I'm traveling light um, and I want something small, this is an option. Get that out of the way. Um, here's another small camera bag that, that actually came with, I think, my NEX7. Um, and it will fit in here with the kit lens on it. Put a dog leash on here as a strap. That's a good option, by the way, for, le for straps, dog leashes. They work great, okay? Just for an over-the-shoulder strap like that. They're cheap. You can buy them anywhere. So that's something I can carry like this, or you can put it on the belt. So again, we're just going through a lot of options here before we get to the man pack. Here's a, just a cheap fanny pack that I bought at, uh, I think, Walmart. Again, you can just strap it on. And I can put the NEX7 in here, a couple of small items. I can put a, a camera lens in here so you can make do with something like this. And what I like about things like this when you're traveling or out shooting is you look like a tourist. You don't look like a cameraman. This doesn't look like a camera bag, which is a good, good plus in some instances. Okay. There's one more bag I want to show. This is my EDC bag. This is by Maxpedition. <clears throat> this I have packed with all kinds of emergency gear, flashlights, so forth. I did a, uh, a review on this. I think I called this the um, ultimate man purse or something like that. It's on my uh, YouTube channel. Just search uh, man purse. Um, and again, this you can carry over your shoulder like this. Now, typically with this, I just have it in the car or I have it somewhere nearby. So for emergencies, I have access to all this gear. And this gear doesn't have anything to do with photography, except for I do have room when I open this pack. I can actually put in the top of this pack my NEX7 camera. It'll actually fit in here, especially if I put the pancake uh, lens on it, the 16 millimeter pancake. So I can have my camera in here as well if I'm hiking or whatever. I have this pack. All right, on to the... Man Pack, the star of the day. Okay, the Man Pack, and there's currently a Kickstarter project going on, so go to man-pack.com and check it out. Um, check out the link to that. But this is really a lightweight, very easy to carry. It just disappears on you. This nice wide strap um, distributes the weight. It stays close to your body. Um, it doesn't pull out or anything, doesn't pull on your back. Um, so very comfortable. This is the first time I've seen a pack of this kind of design with a, a strap this wide, which is really important. It does have a spot here where you can put your cell phone in here or other small items. I would kind of like this to ride a little bit lower, um, but it's easy enough to get access to the way it is. Maybe they put it up here like this so it doesn't get in the way. Um, the pack can be slid around like this. And I showed you how with that other pack I could get access to items. This is even easier to get access to whatever you want. Just right in here, just very straightforward. And I could have two camera bodies in here, a couple of extra lenses. You can put a lot in here. You can put a small laptop in here. You can put a, a, an iPad. Um, I mean, you got plenty of room. The other thing that I did earlier is this comes out you can put a, I can actually put an extra lens in here for my NEX7. I can actually take the camera, of course I'm shooting with the camera now so I can't show you now, but I can actually take the camera with that Zeiss lens on it and I can stick the Zeiss lens right in here and it holds the camera very securely so that if I want my hands free for some reason, I could just stick the camera temporarily right in here, get to whatever else is in the pack, maybe get to a second camera if I need to. Um, and, and stash my, my camera temporarily there. Altern alternately, if I'm switching lenses around, I can keep the extra lens in here. So this is normally for a water bottle, but it's nice to know that you can just um, stick that lens in there as well. I, I really like the NEX series cameras. I have an NEX5 right now and an NEX7. Very compact, very easy to work with, and when I'm 
traveling on vacation or covering an event and traveling light, those are the cameras that I take with me. I don't take the big uh, NEX VG10 and the D700 and so forth. I take the NEXs. And with this bag here, this will be perfect for when I'm, I'm traveling lighter and I'm, and I'm traveling with the NEX cameras and I want to carry a sandwich or something, I'm going on a hike. Plenty of room to carry what I want. But again, very, very comfortable once you park it like this. Hands are free. Everything's out of the way. It's got a nice feel to it. It's a nice canvas material, so it's got a nice feel to it. Better feel than that, that other pack I showed you, the over-the-shoulder pack that's all nylon. Doesn't have as comfortable a feel as this. I, I can tell that with a lot of use, this is going to break in, and it's just going to be very, a very comfortable piece. It's comfortable already without any break-in. So um, I think that this is going to give you a lot of, of flexibility. You can adjust this strap okay so that um, it rides higher or lower um, so I, I think that it's something that um, uh, it's certainly worth taking a look at um, for students as a, as a book bag it's got a compartment here and I like the magnetic catches okay um, it's got rooms for pens you could even put it you can put a pen light in here um, so I've got a, a review on uh, flashlights on my website, take a look at that. Um, so you could put uh, several of those different kinds of, of flashlights in here. Um, four sevens Prion uh, two would go in there nicely. Um, it's got compartments inside, zipper compartments inside that you can put items in. Uh, a couple of them. Um, it's got places for business cards. So again, I could quickly get to my business cards by just reaching inside and reaching in this slot. Um, really well constructed good zippers good strong zippers came with this little metal item here that unscrews that you could put keys on or something it's very strong and it makes a nice pull and I have no problem yanking on these zippers these are very high quality zippers and it has two so you can zip it both ways so a lot of versatility there um, just a good all-around sturdy pack some nice padding here um, he's even going to come out with some improvements in the next version. Um, this is the first version. Here's a nice rear compartment. Again, heavy duty zipper. So I think that if you're looking for a lightweight pack that can carry a, a good amount of, of gear and do it comfortably and have a nice classy look to it. I like this flap, by the way, that just goes over the top and magnetically connects. I really like that because it's silent. There are times when you're in a photography situation where you don't want a lot of Velcro noise, you know, with the Velcro. Um, so I like this silent flap here. And yet it holds nicely. And then secondarily, you have the zipper. So if you really want to secure your gear, you're going up a mountain or something, just secure that zipper and nothing's going to go in, going anywhere. So they, they obviously put a lot of thought into this bag and the construction of this bag. Take a look. Take a look at the man pack. You will not be disappointed. Lightweight, yet strong, comfortable. It's got really all you need in a lightweight pack when you're out on a photo walk or you're out hiking or whatever and you're taking some of your gear and you don't want to look conspicuous, you're, you're a tourist or whatever. You can have this pack around the front for security reasons. You can have the pack in front and then you've got all your gear right here. So it's much harder for a pickpocket or somebody to try to access your gear and of course if you have everything zipped closed it's going to be very difficult for them anyway they're not going to easily be able to cut through this strap either and just take the whole thing so things to think about man pack get yours right away get on that kickstarter and get your man pack you'll be glad you did